the conversation today is about blue wing olives, uh, which is uh, I consider to be our our harbingers of spring and fall. You know, you know it. You know things are getting real when the when the reports of the blue wing olives start to come in. Uh, uh, here in this valley, we generally start to see them in lower elevations before they move up the valley. Uh, so we've already been enjoying this hatch uh, down on the Colorado and the lower to middle Roaring Fork for a few weeks now. Uh, today is a, a very auspicious blue wing olive day, uh, nice and warm and cloudy, which. Uh, in my humble opinion, most mayflies like to hatch in, in warm and cloudy weather, but that's not an absolute rule. Uh, around here, we typically see more caddis hatches this time of year on the bright, sunny days and more mayflies on the cloudy ones. So we tend to see the, the, the mayflies, uh, or the blueing olive mayflies, start on the Colorado in late March into early April. Uh, no two years are the same, but that's generally the case. Um, on the frying pan, uh, we should start seeing them on the lower river where it's a little bit warmer any day now. Uh, we've seen a couple single ones straggling around here and there, but no thick hatches on the frying pan yet. Uh, and then once we get into later into April, uh, I'd say most of the tr trout on the frying pan river uh, will switch over from midges into the blueing olive mayflies because it's a, a bigger, plumper, juicier meal. And uh, I think they, they get a little more benefit out of uh, eating those. Hi, my name's Reese Crab. I work at Taylor Creek Fly Shops. My family's been up in this valley for four generations. Uh, I was born and raised down in Denver, but I've spent every summer up here in my life. Been working for Taylor Creek for three years now. And fishing every day I'm not working. Half the day's fishing while I'm working. Uh, once you get down to the water, obviously you're looking for bugs on the water. You're looking for fish that are rising. When I start scanning, I usually scan from close to far. And so I like to look for foam lines or any sort of like riffly lines in the middle of it. I call it a lot of like nervous water and stuff like that. Always a good spot to find a feeding trout. Well, I think it's kind of making a connection with that trout and uh, almost getting eye to eye with it uh, as it comes up to inspect your offering. And uh, you know, one of my favorite things is watching them refuse the fly or on the frying pan, you'll watch them refuse natural flies, which is, you know, you just got to chuckle. You just got to take it with a grain of salt, and uh, and uh, but you know, it's it's pretty neat to see. Oh, I love fishing betas. <laughs> a little bit more challenging than like a big size 12. That's, that's part of the fun of it, it's the challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brush off all the dust. <laughs> see if my eyes still work well enough to see a size 20 fly out there. Hope folks enjoy the, the blue wing olive hatch wherever they may, may be across the west. You can find it almost in any Rocky Mountain state in spring and fall and hope you get out there and enjoy it.